Yo, yo, family, what's going on, y'all? Jimbo here, bringing you probably one of the most informative videos I think I've done. Um, I've been in the lab. It is currently 1.30 in the morning, um, but I, I just need to get this video out, especially since Season 2 just dropped. This gun, the Gra 556, the GRAU 556, whatever you want to call it, believe me when i say this it may very well be a top three if not a top four weapon in all of call of duty modern warfare 2020 now when i say this okay listen to me these attachments on that i have on this class right now this is obviously one variant i will show you i am in I am in a custom game right now. That's just because I, I, I don't have all of the attachments yet for the Gra. I obviously the the season's like two days out, um, so I, I I'm still grinding it. But believe me, I've been in the lab. I've been doing custom game again against bots, and this setup right here is probably one of the deadliest setups I think I might have ever seen in this Call of Duty so far. Now. You're going to see if you guys watched my M4 build and my MP5 build video. Um, hopefully there's a card on the screen now if I remember to put that in. Uh, it's going to be kind of similar to this. You'll see that, you know, a lot of the stuff that I like using for the uh, M4 especially, um, you'll see it's kind of stuff that I really enjoy using on uh, the Graw some way or uh, some way, shape or form. And when I say that is, uh, you know, it kind of goes to the same thing I was saying in the previous video. You can make weapons in this game through the gunsmith do a lot similar things. And this is going to be the perfect example. What I'm about to tell you guys about this 556 five, weapon right now, it is very, very similar to the M4. And that's why I say, and you guys are probably going to start hearing a lot of people say this as well. This weapon is probably one of the best in the game. So without further ado, I'm just going to go over um, this specific build right here. And then I'm actually going to show you guys some gameplay of me just in a, in a bot lobby. Um, because it's absolutely disgusting. It is so deadly. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. All right. So starting off with the muzzle, of course, monolithic suppressor. This is. I'm just going to kind of go through one build, and then I'm going to show you a second build as well, um, just so you guys have a little bit, um, you know, a little bit more variance. So leading off, just like the M4 monolithic suppressor, you always just. Um, you know, it, it, first of all, you're going to be more quiet, right? Number two, the damage range on the monolithic suppressor is incredible. It's crazy. I think this is probably the first Call of Duty we've ever seen where a monolithic suppressor gives you range, therefore pretty much giving you damage, right? There's not a, that, that, there's not that much of a damage drop off. Therefore, it pretty much buffs the gun's damage, um, especially at range, obviously. So. Um, just like my M4 build monolithic suppressor, um, is honestly a must have, man. It, it just gives you that range. It's awesome. Now, if you don't want to rock a suppressor, I'm going to show you guys another build where, um, you know, you, you obviously don't have to rock a suppressor. Um, but moving on from there, we have the barrel. I, I was playing around with the FFS 20, uh, 20 20.8 inch Nexus. Now here's the thing, right? This has damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control and by golly obviously i'm a pc player i use mouse and keyboard but using this weapon in this build on controller there's almost zero uh recoil control you you all you pretty much can just leave your stick there same thing with the mouse man there is very 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 little recoil control and what recoil control that you have to worry about is it's just a straight line up there's no horizontal um this build is incredible for recoil control and i say that because we're using the 20.8 inch barrel here the 26.4 yes it's longer there's going to be even less recoil but you ads fairly slowly in the movement speed um so honestly the trade-offs for me with this build it's better just getting um you know that little bit extra mobility that little extra ads speed with the 20.8 comp compared to the 26.4 now obviously if you're building this up and you get this second barrel um 
by all means, please throw it on because it is absolutely deadly. Um, there's no recoil. Like I said, the damage range and the bullet velocity is absolutely insane on this weapon. Um, XRK is kind of like the happy medium. Uh, I just prefer the 20.8 inch as my number one go-to and then number two while you're leveling up leveling it up i would go with the 26.4 inch um just because it's 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 low-key a dmr and an ar at that point um it's just the ads and the movement speed late game whenever you have everything it's just not really worth it to me um, especially when the recoil is already so low with the 20.8 inch you might as well just go with like i said um the little bit more movement speed and the little bit more a uh, ads speed as well so optic this is kind of just preference i love the viper on every single weapon um you know the iron sights in this game are very very good the Graw, however they just seem kind of too tight too small for me so i prefer a sight on this weapon unlike the m4 where you know you can obviously run that iron sight no problem i just prefer the viper it's small it's compact uh it definitely gets the job done now these kind of follow my m4 build as well the commando foregrip if you guys watched that last video you know i'm a big fan of the commando foregrip um it's always just a toss-up between commando foregrip and the operator foregrip but with the operator foregrip you kind of look at the buffs and the nerfs and the commando gives it more buffs which is a tiny bit less nerf um so i always just prefer the commando foregrip and it's the first one you unlock um so it's super helpful I, this is definitely like i said probably um probably my go-to without a doubt in this game foregrip wise on any weapon for that matter and of course you see down here i have the rear grip this is pretty much a stippled grip um except it's called the xrk it's just you know another variant you can have a sniper uh a, a sniper foregrip and an ftac r89 rubber um these two um you know they're kind of like the other two grips as well they kind of just renamed a renamed them a little bit in the xrk it's pretty much a stippled that's why i love it you get that good ads speed that sprint to fire speed is also very very good as well um and obviously you're losing recoil control but i'm telling you y'all you you guys are about to see uh you know just some footage of this build right after i get out of this menu um and believe me there is very 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 little recoil and uh, I even show that, you know, you'll see me get some kills and then you'll also s just see me spraying a wall and you'll see it's super slow and steady just going up. Um, so this is my number one build right here with this Gra. Believe me when I say this, y'all, I cannot stress this enough. This might be one of the best, if not the best gun in the game right now. Um, so please, by all means, go with this build um it's absolutely insane i'm telling you guys you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with this um and without further ado let's roll the footage on this one and then i'll be back with kind of just kind of like a fun silly build um i wouldn't really recommend anybody uh anybody using it um this is the go-to this is the this is the hail mary weapon right here once you max it out and everything uh, so without further ado let's let's roll the footage All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed that first setup. Now we're into the second setup. This is kind of something, uh, you know, I'm just kind of playing around with still. Um, this is going to kind of be like the CQB type um, weapon for the Graw. Um, the footage you guys are going to see after this is I'm using the operator grip. However, the aim da the ADS speed um, with the operator foregrip slows it down quite a bit. So once again, I would definitely recommend the commando foregrip. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a different build, like I said. Um, some parts are still the same. Obviously, I'm still rocking the Viper just because the Viper is my favorite, uh, you know, optic in the game, like I said. And the XRK is, you know, just kind of like the stipple grip. It's pretty much a must-have um, in in these situations. 
Um, without that, obviously the commando grip is the same, but the two things that we kind of tweak a little bit um, to make this more of a, you know, kind of like a carbine hybrid where it's, you know, it's an SMG, but it's also an AR. Um, it's gonna, you know, ex excel in short range, but it's also gonna be decent at, uh, at, the, at the medium range as well. Um, you're not gonna be totally toasted uh, with this weapon, with this setup. Um, so say we're running Rust, um, this is probably this will probably be like the grass setup. I'm running in rust um, You know king stuff like that um, the, sh the smaller maps. I'm definitely gonna use this girl uh, uh, comp uh, Over the other one, I guess I should say um, the two things that sh we got to change is the barrel We're not using the 20.8 inch anymore um, We're putting the XRK season like I said, this is kind of like the the tweener barrel where it's not quite the ZLR but it's also not the 26.4 inch. Um, it's definitely short and you definitely notice the little bit of um, recoil, especially when you're coming off of the 20.8. There's a little bit more recoil in this build. It's still not bad. Once again, you guys will see footage after I'm done going through this. Um, but this is kind of a great hybrid barrel, like I said, where, you know, it's not an SMG, um, but it's also not an AR, right? It's also not a DMR. Um, so definitely the XRK is almost the perfect tweener uh, barrel to me. And then after that, I believe our um, first setup didn't even have a stock. We're just running the, um, yeah, we're just running the basic stock. Um, with the, the, this one with the kind of the compact one, you want the XRK strike light. Um, and really just all of the XRK um, attachments kind of, turn this weapon into the uh, hybrid so if you guys forget uh this setup really just look at the xrks and that's going to kind of give you the hybrid ar uh mixed with the smg so with that we're going to be using the xrk strike light 3 this is going to improve our aim walking movement speed so we're just getting that little extra mobility that we didn't have with the ar version of this weapon um, so that's honestly that's honestly huge and you'll kind of you'll kind of see the difference when I'm using the SMG in this next footage um, it, it, the the site jumps around a little bit. It's still definitely controllable It's not the worst recoil in the game, but it's also not the greatest either You know, it's if you're looking for literally zero recoil, please just use the first setup. I showed you guys um, So like I said, this is gonna be something that you know, you want to use on rust kind of the CQB, maybe even the new map. I haven't messed with the new map um, a whole lot, but there's a lot of, you know, tight corners, kind of tight windows. Um, so this might also be um, a very good weapon on that map as well. Um, anytime you kind of want to rush, but you also kind of want to use an AR, this is definitely the go-to setup here. Um, so without further ado, guys, I hope um, you enjoy this next little bit of footage. You're going to see, like I said, recoil is going to be a little bit more, but you kind of see me move around um, a little bit easier as well. So um, please enjoy this footage, and I'll see you guys once that's over with. All right, welcome back y'all and there you have it man um, here are just kind of the two loadouts back and forth you can kind of see the weapon in the background you can make pretty much two completely different weapons um, with this one gun which is absolutely awesome you have your medium to long range just absolutely slayer of a gun it kills so fast um, the no recoil almost at all um, it's just the classic AR and then of course you also have kind of the running gun hybrid carbine uh, SMG slash AR as well uh, for the those closer um, closer combat situations stuff like that um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you took a lot out of it um, I've been sitting in this custom game labbing up different attachments and 
you know, different setups and different builds and all that kind of stuff. So I would really appreciate it if you guys, um, you know, if you like the video, if these setups are going to help you out, please make sure you just leave a like on the, uh, on the button down below. It means a lot to me. Also comment your favorite builds, man. And, uh, let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this. I did an MP5 and an M4 build, um, more of like the competitive scene type of stuff with that. Make sure, uh, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, where, you know, I am going over my favorite builds in the game, even if it is for like, you know, more unknown weapons like the foul and the scar and the, even the Uzi stuff like that. If you guys just want to see my builds and kind of how to optimize each weapon, please, um, let me know down below and I'll definitely keep making these videos for you guys. Um, striker 45 will probably be next some point. Um, I just got to level up the battle pass cause I, uh, I haven't bought I haven't bought enough tiers yet, so we got we got to get to that point. But the striker, even just picking it up, it looks like it's going to be an absolutely killer of a weapon as well. Um, so without further ado, guys, I appreciate you so much. Please, um, if you're new here, make sure you sub. If you like the video, like it up, and uh, I appreciate y'all. Thank you, and as always, God first, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, y'all.